Hello, I'm Sister Mary Catherine Pedrosi, and welcome to this video number five of the interlocking global goals of our Common Home One Family series. We will consider ecological economics. The economy has extensive impact on animate and inanimate creation. A brief definition of ecology is the branch of biology that deals with relationships between plants, animals, and humans, and their environment. A definition of economics is the science that deals with the production, distribution, and consumption of goods. Ecological economics is a complex reality in which economics impacts the relationships which are rooted in the ecological system. All creation is interdependent. Ecological spirituality and education believe that God is the source of all creation and that creation is held together by God's love. This helps us set priorities, make decisions, and determine our actions regarding the economy that will be for the benefit of our common home and our one human family. We will consider some problems arising from a short-sighted approach to the economy which places profit over people and the rest of creation. Then we will look at our role to move toward change for a better world. Pope Francis points out some of the problems in section 32 of Laudato Si. Quote, the Earth's resources are also being plundered because of short-sighted approaches to the economy, commerce, and production. The loss of forests and woodlands entails the loss of species, which may constitute extremely important resources in the future, not only for food, but also for curing diseases and other uses. Different species contain genes which could be key resources in years ahead for meeting human needs and regulating environmental problems. End of quote from Laudato Si, section 32. The economy, commerce, and production paint a grim picture, but there is hope. Quote from Laudato C, si, section 114. All of this shows the urgent need for us to move forward in a bold cultural revolution. Science and technology are not neutral. From the beginning to the end of the process, various intentions and possibilities are in play that can take on distinct shapes. Nobody is suggesting a return to the Stone Age, but we do need to slow down and look at reality in a different way to appropriate the positive and sustainable progress which has been made, but also to recover the values and great goals swept away by our unrestrained delusions of grandeur. End of quote from Laudato Si, section 114. We have the foundation to move forward in courageous action to turn around the paradigm of placing profit over people by being grounded in ecological spirituality and education. The challenge is to find a new way to look at the production, distribution, and consumption of goods to reorder our priorities where needed. Questions for thought and prayer, and then share with somebody when you are ready. 
On a practical, everyday level, what would it mean for you to look at economics in a different way? In what practical ways can you contribute to turning around the paradigm of profit over people? What sacrifices are you willing to make for the good of our common home and our one human family? Let us continue to pray for one another as we work together to build sustainable economics for the good of all.